Hello and welcome to Persons to Prove in Japan News, where each week we bring you updates on what's happening with Toyota's manufacturing industry. I'm Angela Curiero. My name is Kozo Sakano. Up first is uh, tomorrow's events. Th Saturday, August 6th marks uh, special events all over Japan, notably Toyota's Dream Car Contest, which has attracted entrants from over 50 countries. Uh, 120,000 entries in total. So, Kozo, what happens with that? Well, that is uh, initiated by Toyota to uh, uh, people, for people under uh, age, age 50, 50 and under. So to inspire the young kids? To, to have an interest in cars mm. and then also create their creativity mm. and for their bright future. Mm, how exciting. So they're have, they've chosen the winner and they're having the ceremony tomorrow, is that right? Right. Excellent. Okay. And uh, Nagoya, here in Nagoya, we're having the Anime Costume Summit, which is actually recognized by the government. Yes, actually, they're, they look a little bit different, mm. if not strange. Yes. <laughs> they're invited by the government, uh, and then they visit the Assistant Secretary of the Foreign Affairs. Mm, mm, mm. So all over Nagoya, we're going to have adults dressed as anime characters tomorrow. Mm. And then the, it's an inter-world, international, mm. what we call cosplay summit. Okay. Mm. So international, pe uh, internationally people are going to be coming over to N Nagoya tomorrow dressed as anime characters. Yeah, we see the very different people here and there walking down the street. <laughs> and that is to encourage the Japanese subculture. Uh, also up tomorrow is Hiroshima's Peace Memorial Day to mark the the day that Hiroshima was bombed. Is that correct? In right. World War II. Yeah, that's the day we should not forget. We cannot forget. So no more Hiroshima. Okay. Uh, in other news, Nadashiko team is in the money. Last year, uh, last week, we reported that uh, Kirin Beer Company gave them a bonus of each team member got a million yen, which is about the equivalent of just over twelve, ten thousand, twelve thousand dollars. That that's mm. a sign of uh, what Kirin Beer Company's uh, uh, excitement and excitement and also noble duty. Noble duty. Yeah. Uh, well, this week. Um, Japan Football Association has announced that they will be awarding each team member 6.5 million yen, which is equivalent to about, what, 8,000 dollars? 82,000 dollars. 8,200 dollars. 80,000 dollars. 82,000 dollars. Per member or the full team? Per member. What? That's a lot of money. Are you serious? Yes. 82,000 dollars? You, you can buy Lexus. Come to Japan, get on one of the national teams, you guys, you're going to be in the money. Yes. Um, in other news, Toyota Motors Kyushu gets the JD Power's Platinum Award. Right. Um, that's in the category of initial quality investigation in the United States, mm. 2011. That's a very good news. It's excellent. Excellent. Toyota's doing great work. Toyota Motor Corporation has also um, reported that they're going to increase production rates globally uh, to 8.9 million cars um, worldwide. Yeah, for the year 2011, this uh, fiscal year. Excellent growth. Right. Yeah. They're also opening new plants. New plant in Brazil and China. And the United States, is that right, in Mississippi? In Mississippi. They start operation this coming autumn. Things are really moving. Uh, another company is doing well with some good news is Japan. Uh, Japan Airlines, mm. they had a problem, but... Uh, they were facing bankruptcy. Right. Mm. And then Mr. Inamori uh, is now in the process of uh, reforming the organization. And for the period between April to June, they produce surplus. Hmm. Excellent. Well, we're very happy to be able to provide you some great and positive news this week. Please stay tuned for more information next week and log on to our website www.processimprovementjapan.com for more information and more uh, insights into the Toyota manufacturing system. Thank you very much. Thank you. See you next week. Bye. -bye.